Hello and welcome to our software tutorial series. This tutorial will walk you through how to carry forward information from last year's federal tax returns into the current year's software. In this tutorial you will learn how to carry forward prior year data and use carry forward data on a per return basis. Prior year carry forward saves time by bringing information from last year's federal tax return into the current year federal tax return. The software does not carry forward information from state returns. When a new return is started for a returning client, the software displays a dialog box indicating carry forward data exists. Load it. Click the Yes button. The prior year data is loaded into the current year return. To utilize the carry forward feature, the site must have the prior year's tax returns located on their computer or network. For this demonstration, we are logged in as the admin user. To carry forward prior year data, click the Tools menu, point to Carry Forward, and click Prior Year Data. The Carry Forward Prior Year Data dialog box opens. If the prior year returns are located on a different drive from the current year of the software, type the drive letter and a colon in the Directory Containing Files field. If the returns are located on the same drive, click OK. A dialog box opens displaying a list of usernames from the prior year of the software. To select multiple usernames, press and hold the control key and click the desired usernames or click the select all button to select all usernames and click OK. A dialog box displays a list of returns from the first username. Click the All Clients button at the bottom of the screen to select all returns from all the usernames available or individually select the returns to carry forward and click OK. If no returns exist in one of the selected usernames, an error dialog box displays with the message No Qualifying Files Found for a User. Click OK. The returns being carried forward display in the lower left status bar of the application. Once completed, a status dialog box with a confirmation message displays a process complete message. Click OK. The Prompt if Return Not Carried Forward feature alerts the preparer if a return was created last year but has not been carried forward for this year. Security number dialog box that opens when you click Start a New Return from the Software Homepage. Type the Social Security number in the Social Security Number field. The software scans the prior year directory to see if a return with this social security number existed. If a prior year return is found, the software displays a confirmation box. If you click the Yes button, the software carries forward the prior year information and opens a new return in the current year. If you click the No button, the software starts the return as you normally would. You should now be able to carry forward prior year data and use carry forward data on a per return basis. Thank you for viewing this tutorial.